Hello, you're listening to KDAV. It is quarter past one in the morning, and we're coming to you live from the courthouse to the car dealership. Together, we'll go through the night with some amazing music. Someday, you're gonna come back, honey, and then I won't have to long for you. Hello, this is Katie Avey. I want you. How's that now? I want you. Oh yeah? You're the radio jockey, right? Well, I've got your show playing in the living room and I want you. I'll give you my address. On the corner of West 32nd Street, by the old cafe, house number... Help! Honey! Hello? Hello? Well, uh, sorry about that, folks. Uh, seems like we had a little issue with the, uh, with the microphone. Anyway, here's another great record to uh, carry us on with the night. Hello? Hiya Bill. This is Jim, from the radio station. Listen, I think there's some trouble down on the corner of West 32nd Street. <sighs> look, Jim, it's, it's too late for this kind of nonsense. Can't you at least send one of your boys over to take a look? <sighs> I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hi Vivian, it's Jim. Hi Wolfman, what are you calling at this hour for? I haven't got a show to run. Actually, I could use your help. How soon can you come over? Come over? It's the middle of the night. What's this all about? I think there's been a murder. Well, it's not the best pickup line I've heard, but not the worst. <laughs> Certainly is unique though. I'm not kidding. Get here as fast as you can. You're serious, aren't you? I'll be right over. So the murderer could be listening to us right now. I don't know. Jim, this all seems kind of far-fetched. Here, yeah, listen to this. On the corner of West... House number... 
from the beginning. Tell me everything that you know. So that leaves four possible resonances. That's why I found you. You seem to know the most about what's going on around here. Uh, well, the voice is obviously a woman. That narrows things down a bit. The phone could be in her husband's name. What makes you think she's married? It was just something she said. On the corner of West Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Sounds like she was calling to her husband for help. Only two of the remaining households are married couples. Number 43, the Winters, are away in a Mediterranean cruise. That just leaves number 42, the Hunters. And to continue the night, here's a ballad. So what dirt did you find on the couple? Uh, from what the girls in the salon were saying, the husband's away in the Navy, mm -hmm. somewhere in the Pacific. Uh, there's this bartender at the saloon, and they said the wife's been making the most of his absence. Regular Mae West. That explains the phone call. We can't let the murderer know we're onto him. What do you mean if we're gonna go to the house? <laughs> if he didn't know we were onto him before, he sure does now. This is all circumstantial. We're gonna need more evidence if we're gonna prove any of this. We need to go to the house. Are you crazy? The murderer might still be there. You certainly can't go. You need to continue the show in case he's listening in. I'll have to do it. Are you listening to me? It's too dangerous. I'll, I'll call you when I'm inside and tell you what I find. Vivian! All right, then it's a plan. Look. You, you just need to go through that tape and see what else you can find. Might as well put all this rickety old equipment to use. And maybe you can try and get the listeners to help. Baby, until I got that phone call, I didn't even know we had any listeners. Except for yourself, of course. And now, of course, our murderer. Of 
Hello? This is KDAV. Jim, it's me. I'm inside. What is it? What have you found? Outside, the roses look to have been pulled up and then replanted. I shouldn't like to think we'll be able to find if we were to investigate the flower bed further. What about inside the house? There aren't any forced locks or broken windows, so it looks to have been an inside job. The husband? He was in the Navy, you said? Emphasis on was. I found a letter that said he was given a medical discharge. Seems the war cost him. His leg. How did you know? Just a hunch. Uh, uh, the way I see it, the husband arrives home in town and the first place he goes to is the saloon. There he hears from the bartender all sorts of rumours about his wife. Sounds like the sort of thing to make a fella get blind drunk. The call. When she yelled out, honey, you think she might have been trying to identify the murderer? I think it's... Hang on. Jim. There might be someone in the house. Get out of there! Vivian! Hello, this is Katie Lee. I want you. On the corner of West 32nd High, mm -hmm. a wolf man. Mm -hmm. old cafe. In the middle of the night, mm -hmm. I'm calling the about 42 and got a show to run. <sighs> Look, Jim, it's, it's, it's too late for this one. Right. Then it's a plan. You need to continue the show and take it to the end. See what I can do. I'll have to do it. Ralph, it's Jim, over at the station. Mate, it's like 4 a.m. Yeah, I know what time it is. Look, you edit the local paper, right? I've got a story for you. Okay. Come over to the station first thing in the morning. I'll leave a large brown envelope for you. It'll have everything you need to know. Now listen. Everything in that envelope, you've got to post it in Monday's paper. Front page. What's this all about? Don't ask any questions. Just do it. Uh... I'm not so sure about this. Just look inside the envelope and you'll understand why. It'll be right here on the... Hello? Hello? Jim? Thank you. 